the, the whole mayhem thing and the gas mask? Was it just because he had to get out on time? You had no time for well, that? Well, well, okay, you, you pulled it out. You pulled it out. I had to. <laughs> no, I had to. to. But here's the deal. The thing was, is that initially, he had a bag on his head. Yeah, yeah. A bag. A garbage bag or something. On his head. It was a brown paper bag on his head. The eye, one eye in there. And I'm like, you know what? It's all right, but you, you, you need to adjust it or take it off. And he said, I'm not doing either one. Oh. That was not right. Yes. So I said, you know what? Yes, you are. You're doing either what I ask or what's right. You got a choice. He said something, so I snatched the bag off his head and he had the damn gas mask on. <laughs> So, so I'm looking at him and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> First of all, I want to know, how the hell did you get that bag over that mask? <laughs> so at that point, you know what? I didn't, it was new and it was new to me. I didn't know exactly how they're going to react. So I said, they need to see your face now. You don't. So we had a, we had a tete a tete about that. And I think I let him go till he got to the curtain and the cameras went on and I snatched that mask. Ah, he gets hurt. You're the man, man. And, 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 and he looked at me, but you know what? The cameras was on. So he went, but when it was over, he expressed it. He, he didn't like it. But you know what? The respect, because those are fighters. They mm. they have one way of settling things. And they don't care that you're 150 years old. Yeah. It's like, you know what? If you step here, you're going to step out of here at the same time. But they know, and they all knew, that I had nothing but mad respect for them. I always said to them, you know what? I can F with you, but I'm never gonna let anybody else F. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> so keep that in mind. And you know what? I I I got nothing but mad love and mad respect. And from those who were trying to buck the system, when they got when they got to me, they kind of slowed it down a little bit. And I just said, you know what, that shit ain't swinging this way, baby. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta flip that script. You gotta flip that script. And they did, they did that. And then I'd walk away and say, man, did I just, I had John Jones once. We were doing something in the MGM. And he came and I'm, I usually give a speech to all the fighters, you know, before or after a weigh-in, I give them a speech for the night before, but I give them this kind of speech. Yeah. And I'm in the middle of my speech and I can see him coming down the escalator late. He walks in the room and walks around the back of the room and I stop. I said, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. You come up here, son. And he looked at me like I was just, and everybody turned around and looked at it. I said, yes, you come up here. Mr. Come in here late, disrespecting me and everybody else in this room. Mr. Come in here late. <laughs> yes, sir. Disrespecting me and everybody in this room. I said, you know what, son? I said, your name ain't big as mine. That's the first and last time I said that to somebody. I said, so you can't do that. And never, ever can you disrespect anybody sitting in this room when you got to go through the bushes with them. I'm a Vietnam vet, man. I was in the Marine Corps and I learned in the Marine Corps. Everybody had to crease their slacks, put their hood on the same way. And I said, and that's what you got to do. <laughs>